Um, it's been a nice break, like really, really, really nice break. But I've like seriously checked out of like tomorrow's going to be a very rough day, I think. Yeah, because you haven't worked for a while then, right? I, I haven't worked for a long time. I, I've done some work in between, um, but I haven't really like worked work. <laughs> No, I get it. I mean, I didn't go crazy either. I like that week before Christmas, I pretty much, I pretty much shut it down. And then the week after Christmas, I worked Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but like maybe three, four hours. And then I did a bunch of work this week and on some spreadsheets and crap like that, the usual stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I started thinking about stuff that we need, you know, stuff that um, we're going to have to do as soon as I get back, as soon as we get back. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, beyond that, that's about it, really. Um, yeah, for me too, as well, right? I mean, it's like yeah. anything, and it's it's a new year, right? And then what do you start doing when it's a new year? You start thinking about what you're doing in the old yeah. year. Should you yeah. keep doing it in the new year? Should you do something new in the yeah. new year? What's the yeah. new year going to be about? It's um, yeah, I I think, I think too. I I think I was telling you, but I I I'm fairly sure I didn't tell the listeners any of this stuff um, before. But like even you know, kind of looking back and then realizing like how, like, I, I think the right word is burnt out, right? Like, I don't think I've actually been that. Um, so like, I was out West with Kenny, um, like the middle of December, December. but it, it feels like, I don't know. It feels like a thousand years ago, maybe. Um, I get it. I feel the same way. And I think like we left there. It's funny because the last couple of times Kenny and I said, oh, we're going to, we're going to, we'll film live together when we're out there. And we're so exhausted, like just exhausted. The last thing you want to do is do one of these. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, you know, we like, it's unscripted, but we bring energy. Right. And so the last couple of times there just hasn't been any energy. There'd be nothing there. Right. And I told you, I I didn't know what we're going to talk about, or I thought, yeah, we're going to be just yawning and sleeping on the the podcast. There's no joy there. Right. So that's not good. So yeah, you know, and then yeah, I, yeah. if I was a listener, I wouldn't want to listen to it either, because no. we'd be just lethargic, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it, I think it was nice. I mean, I, I think, I think the first three days that I took a break, the first day, there was actually some anxiety, right? Like I kept checking emails and things like that, and then finally I started to step away and and not check anything, and then I started taking naps, and I think I napped for like three or four days in a row, like every afternoon, just. Like, that's good though that's good you know drop out knock out like not a oh it'd be nice to take a nap but literally like i'm exhausted i gotta take a nap and then i did right so you know but i'm, I'm feeling i'm feeling back you know we were laughing today i think we're both still exhausted because we had company literally from the 24th to yesterday mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did like five meals like, you know, full blown 12, 15 people meals during the, uh, wow. The time. Right. I think, and then we wow. worked a little bit too. So I think yeah, we're both yeah. looking at each other today thinking just exhausted. You're a bunch of nuts. I'm saying, well, it's okay. You know, it's family. It's all good. Right. Yeah, it's just, it's nice you. to do, I but like it is, it's tiring. Yeah. Right. So you don't even feel yeah. like you got a break, even though I did, you know, I did take some time. I mean, last week I, d- I did do a bunch of work from Wednesday. Well, I all weekend, I worked all weekend. Oh, Okay. Get some spreadsheets done and yeah, some stuff yeah, yeah. cleaned up and yeah. calls here and calls yeah. there. And all good. Yeah. All good. Yeah. But definitely it's, 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 it's the time it's every year I do this, you know, and it gets probably, probably a little worse as I get a little older because you start thinking, okay, what do I really want to do? Like, what's this year going to, what's this year going to be about? Like how, where am I going to put the efforts? Right. I mean, the card thing has been a lot of fun this year. I, it'd be nice if it lasts another year. It'd be nice to get through 2022 fiddle farting around. I like to get these teas going, which I need to talk to you about. Okay. If there's yeah. any marketing help we can uh, yeah. Yeah. get out of you and just figure yeah. out how to uh, compensate yeah. you. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. There's lots of, you know, you this know what podcast. it's like too, right? This podcast. This podcast. I, I yeah. want to do more of this. Yeah. And this is why I was getting a little upset with ourselves this past week. Like we pulled, <laughs> poor listeners, we pushed this one about 14 times in the last 10, six, seven days. Oh my God. It's true, actually. I but I, I think I couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't. I was yeah. either right in the middle of spreadsheets or something, and then I just got tired. I thought, I can't do this. But, but I think, I think it's, it's, I mean, hopefully it's, we're worth the wait, but 
but I think you know rolling into the end of the year is exactly that is we we were exhausted right and so we needed the break took the break um if our audience is a little bit smaller because of it then so be it right yeah, like, that's fine you right know, if we don't bring the energy why bother right so well exactly and um, i think that's the thing i yeah. think that's going to be the, that that's the trick to doing this all the, doing this period is to bring the energy and i think more the more important i think it's just now trying to figure out how to put some energy back in our tanks like the rest was good but now I think it's just a different type of fill up this sort of required. Don't know what that is yet, but it's definitely yeah. a different kind of fill up, different kind I, of fill I up. Think, I think I've got to, I've got to measure, you know, it's like, it's so tempting, right? Cause you, you, we have, we have some steady clients and you know, you, we put uh, like neither of us are shrinking violets that way. We, we step into them and, and give it a lot. Right. Um, and I think in both, both my cases, I, I need to figure out how to, I need to figure out how to not give that much. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's, I think it's know. a wiring issue though. I don't, I don't think we're wired yeah. to that. I think no, there's no. got to be a better well, balance though. Yeah. So right? I think that's what I'm after is, yeah. you know, because Let, employee, we went like... from like two days a week and then, you know, two and a half. But honestly, like if I look at the one that you and I work on together, we, we were there three three and a half days almost four days a week oh i'm definitely some points, definitely right? four. So, oh my god absolutely by the time um, you ran it all through yeah yeah yeah, yeah. seven days yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good deal it's a good deal for them and they don't do it on purpose they just need what they need I'm not, and, and i'm not and, uh, I, yeah yeah I there's no suggestion there. not, that's not yeah yeah that's that's, that's, that's not us. them that's us right so right. it's um you know yeah and so i think i think i've got a find that balance uh, i'm stupid that way i'm teaching omni-channel retail again this year of course you're. um yeah yeah i mean it's just till it's 16 weeks right like the course lasts 16 weeks but so somewhere no, in there why I've, not, got to, right? I've got to fit in so when you start channel retail uh i think i start next week is when i start so it's yeah. okay yeah 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 no that'll be good though that's again it's it's, it's just it's um I like that class though, because I like I like the kids that come out of oh, there. So the kids I like, are probably quite cool too, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and they want to learn. Like, and they, you know, I like, like all the it. learning I gotta do. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, like I can't go into that. I don't like going into that teaching <clears throat> old crap. So it means like the curriculum stays the same, but I gotta refresh the the examples and give them, you know, kind of like a fresh perspective on things. And well, you should you know, update so. it, right? I mean, what happened yeah. last year? I mean, who cares? Yeah. I mean, that's just one of those classic. Oh my god, no, it's <laughs> omni channel retail, right? So, like, yeah. last year was like a blockbuster year, you know, for omni channel retail, and, and now it's all changed again. So, now we're going back a little bit. So, yeah, I, I wonder what's gonna see again. I think we all thought we were gonna be out of the shit this year. We're going we back, so to... we're, we're going back to modified stage two. I I got a feeling it's not going to be long. I really don't. I, I think what the worry is, is I think that there, it's just the amount of cases. Yep. Right. So I, I think this is, I, I really and truly believe this is toward the tail end. Hopefully. I think this, this is going to run out of hopes Fingers because crossed. that's, that's the, that's, it sort of Fingers indicates crossed. what it would yeah. do. Right. Yeah. That's what it would do. Yeah. I think what everybody's worried about is that if you were getting 1600 cases a day, let's say in Ontario and a hundred people in the hospital, that was, you know, that was brutal. Yeah. At 16,000. Yeah. The percentage is, is, isn't there, but you're still getting 100, 150 potentially. I think that's what the worry is, is that we're getting a lot more cases, a lot less hospitalization yep. per incidence. Yeah. But there's so many freaking incidents all of a sudden. I think yeah. it's, that's what they're worried about. But well, I, I really think this the, will be a blip. The spike went, like our, our spikes went crazy, oh, right? Nuts. Like. Um, like what do we, we're at 16,000 cases right now? I think now? you got 16,000 with a 30%, yeah, yeah. um, um, a rate when they go into test, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. ridiculously high, yeah. But but ICUs are just starting to fill up, right? So it's not, it's a, it's a good thing because it's not, you know, I so hope the there's, there's some, lower, there's buffer. So, that's that's yeah, the point yeah, is yeah. that there's yeah. if, when you look at it, yes, they're filling percentage wise proportionately it's not near of yeah. what it was the problem yeah. is there's yeah. just so many more again yeah, yeah, hopefully yeah. what this thing yeah. is doing now is just going to run out of hosts to... run out of steam yeah yeah well yeah. that's what it does right i mean yeah. eventually that's yeah that's i know i guess in essence what herd immunity is or what, yeah yeah the whole point of the, the yeah. vaccines and everything else is yeah. to 
get us to this place. Yeah. Because then so, it's going to change retail so for this crossed. year. Like what happens? Yeah. Like, do we go for the next uh, month, month and a half in that old shitty world that we just came from? And then it's going to just go Looney Tunes because, this, you know, or at that point, are we going to be back out and about by March, April? Like what so, happens? So I, I'm less concerned about retail through January. January traditionally is a slow period for retail anyway. Right. No, not too much. Our the food one is, is pretty still pretty solid. Food, food is yeah, pretty fairly solid. steady. Uh, but everybody else is is yeah, pretty slow. Yeah, clothing slows down. All and that then, stuff. And then but... we had a. I feel like we had a really epic Christmas, right? Because because everyone <laughs> was out, and you know, everyone had the chance to to be out and and do yeah. what they wanted to do. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's not a bad time to pull back a little, and you know, um, and hopefully it's not long. Like here, we didn't actually touch. Um, we didn't try. We didn't affect any of. Um, we didn't affect anybody's uh, like the retail side of things for us at schools and venues and uh, museums. So, so Kathy's um, Kathy's She's out again. Yeah. They're, they're closed. Um, you know, so yeah. So, you know, so maybe it, it uh, yeah, you're right. Like hopefully it's not that long. Um, I, <laughs> I feel like, like, I feel like right away you assume they say two and I hear six weeks, but Hopefully it's not, it's not all that. No, I think the two weeks thing is just, I, I think yeah, they yeah. know that we all probably at this Christmas or most of us didn't say, you know, screw it, but we probably got pretty close to saying, you know, screw it. We're, we're, yeah. we're going to do like an old yeah. Christmas. We're not going to be stupid about it, yeah, but we're yeah. not, yeah. we're not doubling down and bubbling no. down like we did in the past, which is probably no. not smart, but nonetheless, after two years, I think people just have sort of had it. You know whether that's right or wrong is really not relevant. I mean, well, it's, it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, and you hope that we we took some. I hope some precautions. We took some reasonable risks, right? Like we quasi calculated. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. We we um we only got half of our celebrations in, so we got in the half with Kathy's family. We went up to Ottawa, um, and stayed at Ryan's place, and and they rented a hotel nearby, and we we had Christmas in Ottawa, which was really nice. nice. Um, but then, uh, we came back and then we were supposed to do, um, like a family reunion with my mom's side and we had rented Airbnb up North, but, um, like the morning, the morning that we were supposed to go, my, my sister, my sister's, um, my sister's, uh, ex basically calls and says, listen, uh, I, I'm not feeling well and I did the rapid test and I came up positive. Um, I was 40 minutes away from picking, um, you know, my nephew, my nephew, my niece up. Um, and so we kind of like put the brakes, uh, the three, my sister, my niece and nephew all did the test, came up positive, you know, so quarantine. Well, they're then done. They're done. And then my niece was in the car with my mom and my other sister. So we're like, oh, shite, right? Like, yeah. So we wound up canceling, right? Because, uh, you know, at one point my mom said, "You guys should go and and just say, just answer no." And and we said to her, "Listen, you, you can't, right? Like, because because we got we got kids that have been, you know, fighting this thing and and suffering, you know, being at home and everything." what does it say to them if we lie about the test now? Right. And then, and then, you know what I mean? Like, it's so just not right. I mean, it's not the, the right day, thing to do. You know right? what? So, I mean, yeah. But do it this way. If they had just the flu, I still don't want to see them. Yeah. After yeah, the last yeah, two years yeah, that we've yeah, all yeah, been yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Like for what it's worth, just yeah. stay home. Yeah. 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 So it's we went to, we went to canceling. So we went to canceling and then, yeah. Yeah. It was, it, yeah. But what do you do? Right. What nothing. Do you do? Nothing. You know what? You ride it and it's all like, yeah. I really yeah. believe that it's it's getting toward the end of it, and like and for me right now, I'm dying to see what this next year is going to do. Yeah, like yeah, in terms yeah. of what happens, like I'm even curious with retail. Like, are are we going to hang on to the online that we've done this this Christmas? I'm assuming yes. Are yeah, we going too. to revert back to stores more than maybe we have in the last year and a half? Or is you know has this been the 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 push that online sort of need it we all remember you know if we go back before covid we were saying five to ten years online would be in that 30 percent range well it's 
probably pretty damn close to there now, yeah. if not higher. Yeah. So does it stick now? Does yeah. it pull back for a little bit? Yeah. Are people happy with the online experience? I mean, I've gone people have gone both yeah. ways. Like I think people were more happy two years ago than they are now. Cause I think a lot of the online has done unfortunately what old school retails uh, did and you know you start seeing the mistakes or the normalcy of just how retail goes and retail just does sometimes what retail wants to do there's no real logic to it do you know what i'm trying to say like so i wonder you know if the lure sort of falls yeah, off yeah, a little yeah. bit yeah, 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 I, yeah i i trust me i know like even in this house like returning things has become like it's a nobody's chore. like just it's an chore. absolute chore right yeah and i think the yeah. industry i think i heard the other day was it what did they say 25 percent a get of uh gifts go back or was it 30 percent? it was yeah. a high number yeah a quarter to a third yeah. of all, all that would go back but that's yeah. a lot of work it's, it's a lot it's a lot it's and that's a, a lot, lot of moving of boxes eh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that's a lot it's, of pieces it's a lot of, of wastage moving around. it's a lot, a lot of, of like yeah yeah yeah. And how long can the online world sustain that before they even say, you know what, free returns, uh, we're not digging this anymore. Look, the shine's coming off shipping, right? You can see everyone dropping their their uh, the limits, you know, because shipping is getting more and more expensive. It's outrageous. Right? Um, Canada Post so has gone up astronomically yeah, yeah. in the last month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what I used yeah, to yeah. cost me to ship to Ontario is vastly yeah. different today than it was two months ago. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Sooner or later, I mean that that's going to start to normalize too. And so, does that help retail though, old school, or have people gotten far enough where they're just going to say, ah, ah, whatever? I don't. It was. It's not as important to me as I as I maybe thought it was. Like, do I, I care know, about man. paying for shipping and not and shipping back? I know. I mean, I do, but do I care enough not to do this anymore? Or do I say, you know what, I'll just go to the drive to the mall and I'll just go grab it. If I have to, if I have to return it, I may as well just do it there. I think you're going to find, I, I think you're, I think you, I gravitate to retailers that I can, I can get it shipped to me online and then return it in store. Like, I don't, I don't. I like that. I like that to know, be honest like more than I anything get, else. Like, you know, you and I are in retail, so I get why. There are retailers like Sports Check was one of those ones. Sports Check said to me, "Oh, you paid by PayPal, so you can't return it in store. You have to return it back online." I was like, "I why? don't. Why? Well, I don't care. Like, I, I gave you a method of payment. You know, it's me. I have the receipt. Just give me back my money. Like, Plus I don't care how you reconcile. You got. You got you yeah, got I don't care how PayPal. you reconcile. It's Let's not my problem. Back through PayPal. Like, yeah, it's I not care. my problem, right? Like, you're sending it back to me by PayPal, right? And they're like, well, exactly. you know. So I, I." basically went okay well if that's going to be the case i'm i'm not i'm never going to buy through paypal again even though it's more convenient for me right i guess i'll i'll either use a credit card every time or i'll find a retailer that is super flexible about how i buy the it means of, like, the means you know, that they, they took my money is yeah. the means they give me my money back yeah, yeah. why are you making it my yeah. problem yeah. if you're the one that said paypal was yeah. okay yeah on the purchase, then it needs yeah. to be okay on the return. Like, yeah, why yeah. are you, why are you jamming me why, with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you so, should be able to do it in store. That's I don't yeah. understand what I don't understand what the confusion is. Yeah, like you know, you and I both love them, but Costco is a great example. Costco doesn't care. Doesn't care how you either. how you buy how you buy it, where you bought it. If it's theirs, they'll take it back, right? Right. And you know, like so, buying online with them is really convenient because I can I can buy online and then you know just go to the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I don't, and I guess I don't know how the other ones are. I don't know what Walmart's like with that because there's a lot of stuff on Walmart that's obviously not theirs. It's a marketplace. Yeah, and I think it's it probably not back that, to difficult. Yeah, it's it's not that convenient. Which is why I don't use a lot. Well, again, so I mean, you know, already yeah. we start to gravitate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like I'm finding yeah. again, I don't, you know, me and Amazon, you know, or whatever we are together, is I don't mind ordering from Amazon because it's got a lot of shit and I can do stuff. But I'm very careful now too, right? Because I, I don't need the complications. I, 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 you know, I really try to avoid the resellers too. Now, eh? I'm, I'm trying to find, you know, the vendor central accounts or the ones that I, I know yeah. that it's going to be more of an Amazon issue as a pain Prime. in the ass. Prime, Prime. is a, exactly. I, is, I don't, I'm eliminating all the bullshit yeah, in between, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm not interested yeah. in, in the hassles. Yeah. Right. I, I want to try to make this a lot easier. Yeah. But I do yeah, think, yeah. like, I think I'm even more interested in what you're saying. I, I think I'm, I'd be 
much more inclined if I can do it online, get it shipped, but go back to the store to do the exchange or upgrade or whatever uh-huh. it is, uh-huh. I'm probably a little more happier. Oh, I either that or it's unique enough that I don't care. Well, like that's, so, yeah, that's so totally um, you know, before Christmas, I was I was ranting to Kenny about it, but um, I bought this sustainable bag, um, like this backpack made out of paper. Um, you know, it came from the UK. It was it was kind of premium in pricing, right? Um, but I bought it because I liked it, and I knew. Cool. I was never going to return it. And then if I didn't like it, I knew I'd be able to find a home for it. So, for sure, you know, then I don't care either. Right. So, you know, but yeah. 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 It'd be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, man. I did notice, I don't know if you know, it's like in our city because, well, you don't have save on. I saw a lot more save on delivery trucks than I've ever seen over the last month and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I went to superstore like Loblaws, um, their uh, Bopus was going mental. Right. I mean, the pickup lines outside in the back were like there's cars all the time grabbing groceries. So I think yeah. a lot of people have grabbed on to that concept. Well, I I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, we, we did groceries like that, too, I think, primarily because we were running out of time, Do you know, like we, we, you know, if we were an entertaining family or we were running around, it was like, I don't really <laughs> I'm shopping. I don't, I don't have time to get groceries. So I'm just going to order it and then pick it up on the way home. Right. So simple, simple, right? We, yeah. We did a lot. We, we love it. We, I, I'm set foot in a grocery. I mean, no, I, I will go to a grocery store, especially for produce, but a lot of the staples, I don't, we don't bother. We, we do it through pickup. So, um, like curbside pickup is great. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful feature. So, you know, yeah. so maybe that's for the, you know, where the traditional retailer still has a really good chance to uh, remain relevant. Listen, I, in the game. I, I think it's fine because like, you know, when, when we were all stuck at home and literally stuck at home, like you think of the number of cardboard boxes that you got, like at some point, even the least environmental friendly among us went, Oh, this is a, a lot of cardboard. <laughs> this is a lot of cardboard. Like, where does it all go after this? Right. Like, yeah. so at least with Bopus, you, you, you know, like, I I don't have to wait. I don't have to worry. It's going to get lost. Like I'm I'm going to order. I get a confirmation. I back the car up. You load it in my car. I'm I'm pretty happy. Like that's you know like that's. No, I don't think it was just you. I'm telling you, man. You know? I at superstore yeah. there was a lot of people with a lot of yeah, cars lined yeah, yeah. up all day, yeah, yeah. every day, yeah. all hours yeah. of the day. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I ever saw the back. And it's not like they had 70 stalls. They had like 10, 15 stalls. But yeah, yeah. I don't think it was ever empty. Yeah. There's yeah. l- at least two, three cars every single yeah. moment of the day. Right? So, you know, they figured it out. Yeah. Hey, you know? um, I'm going to switch gears. What, <laughs> uh, um, for listeners, there's a, there's a link that came out in our last Instagram and social post to a survey. Um, Kenny and I would like to hear from you guys so we can make the podcast better, better. and more better. Better, better, better um what uh what do you what do you hope for the podcast this year we we have a full roster like if listeners are curious we we have i think we have guests booked until the end of february beginning of march are we that far out now uh, like this is the I last time they hear are, us just by ourselves now probably i think this April. is the last time for quite a while i mean we will probably we the wrap-ups that we do seem to be quite popular so we'll probably insert ourselves in there and then push out the episodes a little bit but yeah end of february is where we're at right now yeah. and i think there's like two loose ends that might push us right into march actually um yeah oh, wow. okay yeah 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 but I, that's I starting guess, this week i'm assuming uh yeah i think so i think so um we've got the one guy that that you met on linkedin this week who keeps offering to send us samples that's kind of, kind of um, sweet though. So we might be we might be the weirdest podcast because we don't we're we're expensive to ourselves because we don't wind up taking samples and then I wind up buying and then Phil just buys them anyway. So <laughs> oh, did you try the sauce? You know what? Not one. We did so many recipes and cooking. Not uh, one was relevant to it, and I okay. didn't. Okay. So I got them. That's okay. this week's. This week's. Okay. This week is is there's going to be a protein night where we're working this shit. Can I can I tell you so? My favorite, favorite thing to do with it 
is if you're going to make scrambled eggs in the morning, just take a, a, a just take a teaspoon of the jalapeno. Yeah. And roll it into your your um, scrambled eggs. Okay. It is. Just give it that little kick. Fuck, it's so good. Really? Eh? Okay. Yeah, it's so good. It's okay. uh, it's for, it's and then I did it the other day. Uh, I did it scotch. I used the scotch bonnet and I I made eggs huevos with uh with some avocados in it and it was. Man. I was. Uh, I love food. Fuck, I love it. I love, I it so love much. food, man. <laughs> I really do. We we did. Like we talk we food, cooked. I get hungry. Yeah, yeah. We we cooked a lot this this holiday. What's oh, um? We did too. Okay, we wait, wait. So so tell me, what what do you what do you hope? Is there one thing that you hope out of the podcast this year? Um, that we do. What do we? I hope to do on the podcast. Yeah, or or you know that you wish the podcast does this year. You know what? I, I, it's so stupid because it means nothing, but obviously mm-hmm. it means something to me because I can't, I can't seem to let go. Yeah. I, I, I would love to crack like a top something. Like I, I do. It's so dumb, but I want to be able to, I, 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 okay, here's, this is so egotistical. I want to be able to go on Google and type in our podcast and it comes up, well, you know, like top 100 podcasts in Canada for business or something. Like, I know it's not be top 100 yeah. podcasts in Canada. I get that. Yeah. yeah but I, yeah. I, I do. I, I really got, I, it's so stupid. I, I want to rank. Like I do. So, I just want to, I don't, and again, I don't know why it's not going to do anything different. It's not going to change how we do shit. Yeah. I just, I just, I would just love to know that people like listening to it or that they get yeah, something yeah. out of it. Right. Yeah. That's, that's kind of, otherwise, I mean, you and I can talk, I can talk to you seven days a week. Right. We well, don't need I to do it online. Do and, and <laughs> well, I do talk to you seven days a week, but, but yeah. yeah. So but my point is we don't yeah. need to take an hour and, and flood the airwaves of just you and I uh, shooting the shit, which is okay too, I guess, as people do like listening to it. But at the same time, yeah. I, I like people, I really would love, I would love people to say, you know what? I got something out of that. Even if it's just one nugget, you don't have to yep. like the whole thing. You, you don't, you can think a lot of it. Maybe what we say, maybe we're full of shit or you don't believe it, but if it's just one nugget. That every episode, someone says, "Oh, that's that's interesting. I never thought of it that way." Yeah. Or they turn what we said to a different way. Say, "I don't agree with them, but oh my god, if I do this, yeah, yeah, light yeah. it up, man. That, yeah, that'd be yeah. so cool." So it's we, so, cool. so we, um, so middle of December, when you and I were kind of in burnout mode, we actually hit. We were in the top forty um, in marketing podcasts um, on Apple Podcasts. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not top forty. We were number ninety-eight, so we were in the top one hundred. Sorry. Um, why did so I it's say a Billboard one hundred? I'm okay. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we've ranked like individual episodes. We've had episodes where we have ranked uh, top one hundred. We've never we've never broken the top fifty. We've definitely broken the top 100. We are regularly in the top two hundred for marketing or business in um in apple Podcasts for uh for canada That's and then algeria cool. we rank in algeria i'm, I'm not really i don't understand why. that one at all god bless um, algerians apparently, yeah god, I, I don't god get bless it. algeria but yeah i don't yeah. know i don't know what the hell they're listening to <laughs> but yeah maybe, maybe we're all so, they get i don't know but it, it would be uh, i'm with you i it would be cool to get a little more spotlight it'd be cool to rank a little bit higher um i think that's why the survey too so if you guys can click the link in the bio yeah. in Instagram or in Facebook and, and just tell us what you think um, or send us a nasty note um, via email. You can send a note to this commerce life at gmail.com. I read them all. So I'll cry. I, I yeah, mean, I, I but, think that um, would be, no, don't be yeah. too mean, It'd be mean, but not too mean. <laughs> like, don't get personal. Mean. No I, there's a moment of vulnerability because I, I have feelings because I'm, I'm well rested now. So exactly. We're back to being, you know, <laughs> we're back to, we're, we're back to be giving a shit about things. May not last uh, so long. I'm, I'm human for now, but yeah, you might know, not last but, in a couple of weeks. Oh, this might man, be over. In a couple of weeks. I'll be like, fucking this, fucking that. Exactly. But then, you know what I would love then? Then it's also the yeah. guests. I'd like yeah, having. Yeah. Like it doesn't even have to be so much the popularity of, um, I, I, you know, I don't want, I'd love to talk to Obama, but I wouldn't, I don't yeah. need Obama on. I don't no. need, you know, I don't need that level, yeah. but I, yeah. I liked, like, I thought we had so many cool guests last yeah, year. And I, I would just love really to have, did. yeah, I just want another year of guests that we have yeah. next year. Yeah. I don't care if they're all different, but I want those same type of, 
Yeah. I like yeah. I like this. I love this cool stories, yeah. like family ones. Like I don't know. I think we had such a we, good we year just, for people. We just had like some really remarkable stories on. And like some really wonderful brands. It, it, we actually had, um, so Aaron, who does our social media, um, put together these compilations for us. So I, th I think we put out four or five of these where we picked four or five of our favorite episodes. And some of them are shoppable items. We actually had people who shop for items based on that. So we That's got awesome. a couple of social media comments about people who follow cool our advice. Though, right? then, yeah, it's amazing. Um, it's it's kind of what we love. So. Anyway, so so if you click the link, um, tell us what you think. We would love it. Um, I'd appreciate are, it. I'd love to hear. Are, I mean, I really would. I'd just love to hear yeah. people think. I think I would like us to be able to give more coherent nuggets of information. Maybe I think we do organized. it all the time. Yeah, I, I'd like us to, to get organized. I think... Um, you know, us doing the the monthly kind of recaps and then and yeah, then being able to though. no, not just scripted, organized. just more organized and and oh, yeah. you know, because because when Kenny and I are succinct, I actually think you know we are kind of smart. So, well, relatively speaking, and it's all relative. <laughs> we're, we're the two smartest people in the room right now, right? But but we do need to get organized and coherent, otherwise it doesn't work. So I think that's yeah. I think that's the one thing that we could do. I don't think we I don't want to prep. Yeah. Massively. No, I, I don't. But I, I don't do either. think sometimes yeah. we should have, like, it's funny because Amelia said tonight, she goes, what are you guys talking about tonight? And I looked at her, she goes, you have no clue. I said, no. We don't no. Know. She goes, well, should you guys like have something prepared? But I kind of looked at her and but, I didn't want to say no, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't say yes either. I just kind of just, hmm, and I think I probably I, walked away. I actually think, so I think it's funny how, so, Kenny and I have been together like four years now, right? We're coming yeah. into our fifth year, really. Well, we are in our fifth and then, year. Yeah, yeah, we're in our fifth year, and then and then <laughs> he and I have been working on the same account for easily a year now. But it's funny how what, as we do things, we actually converge on the same thoughts on things. Um, we do that a lot, actually. I was thinking about it, um, and so you're on mute. Um, but uh, you know, <clears> like it happens. Death, on, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, but but <clears> I. So I do think that that it it's it's one of our superpowers, right? Because you and I tend to converge on the same. We we land in the same places. We don't always agree, but we land in the same places. I think. Yeah, we so, don't necessarily agree all the time. No. We definitely yeah. land in the same spot. Sometimes <clears throat> different different ways, but yeah, we do yeah, seem yeah. to end up a lot of yeah, times yeah. in the same yeah <clears throat> general area. Yeah. So I think I think if we get a little more organized there, it'll make us <laughs> seem even more coherent. So, well, I think sometimes that's that's the only thing. Like yeah. if I listen back to us, <clears throat> and I do try to listen every like fifth, sixth, yeah, yeah. seventh episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to listen. I, mean, I hear us way too much because we talk <laughs> way too much anyway. <clears throat> but I do like to go through. And there's times where I think, "Fuck, oh, guys, get your shit together!" Like seriously, yeah. it yeah. would have taken you five minutes. Yeah, just a little bit of research, nothing in depth. Yeah. <clears throat> or you know what? Yeah. Had I had an idea of where you wanted it to go. Yeah. Right? I agree. Because <clears throat> after agree. four years, you know, I mean, seriously, we we you know by now we should have this figured out just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little. And I think for the most part we do, but I do think sometimes yeah, yeah. They, I wish we yeah. I wish we were just a little more yeah. um yeah, probably just a little more prepared. I think that's yeah, a better yeah. way to say without yeah. without again, without not being I don't want to be if we have to sp spend a week to like, I don't want to be like starting it live. I don't mean I don't know the six days to do a live performance. I'm, I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. mind a little bit yeah. of work. We should do something. Maybe get a topic or yeah. two, yeah. right? Because there's always things that, that's funny, right? Those last little bit. There's things that would bug me Monday with you. We'd be talking about things. And by Thursday, I already forgot. Yeah. And then yeah. Friday, because we finished recording on Thursday, I thought, fuck, we should have talked about that last yeah. night. I'll do it for next Thursday. And then I forget again. Yeah. Because there's sometimes just, re there's nuggets that I, I yep. just love to be able to give to people. I agree. So they could see what, uh, you know. I agree. Maybe, uh, you know, an angle before you hit the hit the wall um before we go there there's some things uh we need to say thank you one thank you for all the listeners and yeah, all the really. people who have been on the show we appreciate you and uh the show wouldn't be what it is if we didn't have the guests that we had or the feedback 100%. that we had um the other thing is thank you um linda was our yeah. first patron sponsor so 
Um, Linda's generously given us um, three bucks a, a month uh, to help us keep the lights on and, and kind of keep everything running. Um, you can do that on the website. Uh, again, it's weird for us, but um, you can become a Patreon sponsor. It's literally three bucks a month. And um, it's just so Kenny and I can kind of pay for recordings and editing and blah, That's blah, it. blah. Um, you know, and then if we can cobble it together a little bit more, we'll, we'll pay Aaron poor Aaron slaving away, um, you know, a little bit more as well. I probably so, own this one too. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, but, uh, yeah, no, thank you so much. And then, um, yeah, we'll be back at it this yeah. week. We'll, we'll have yeah, a guest no, I'm, I'm looking forward. And, we got guests yeah. starting again on Thursday yeah. and, uh, yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, right. And, I, and if you yeah. do get a chance to, to take a look at the survey, please do. Yes, please. It just yeah, yeah. makes it. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure we're, like I said, we're we're providing the value that uh, yeah. listeners want. Yeah. Awesome. Otherwise, Phil and I will just talk. We're gonna talk anyway. But... Yeah, we're gonna do that anyway, but I mean, yeah. we'll just talk more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like seriously, awesome. after day four or five, it's not that exciting to listen to Phil and Ken. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the people that work with us will tell oh, you the exact man. same thing. <laughs> oh man. All good in the hood, awesome. baby. All good in the hood. Well, happy New Year. <laughs> Thanks, man. You too. And happy yeah. new year to all our, uh, all our listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And let's do this again in 2022, baby. Yeah, you got it. Light this up. Hang on for a minute, buddy boy. Say goodnight to the folks. And uh, 